Hi, my name is Katie and I'm with Soul Wood Flowers. Today I'm going to show you how to dye your wood flowers. So you're going to need a couple things. You're going to want your wood flower dye. Today I'm using our Merlot color, the flowers that you want to dye. You'll want some place to dry the flowers. I am just using some folded up paper towels here, uh, or you can use um, a cookie sheet works really well, or a muffin tin, somewhere you can set the flowers to leave them to dry for about 24 hours. Then I also have a cereal bowl here, full of water, and that's kind of the amount that you're gonna want for the one ounce dyes. So I am going to take and add this whole bottle to my water. If you want um, more, if you want darker colors, I recommend using more dye, less water. And if you want the opposite, use um, less dye, more water. That'll kind of give you, you can test it out, mix a little bit here and there, see exactly how you want it. You can test out little flowers before you dye in bulk to make sure that's a good color. Also hot water will give you more vivid colors and um, cooler water will give you um, a little less vibrant colors. So now that I've got that in here, I'm just gonna take, I just have a fork here and I'm just gonna stir it up really well to mix all the dye in with the water. You wanna scrape the bottom really good because it all sinks to the bottom and you don't want any of that sitting there. All right, then I'm going to take my flower, stir this a little bit longer just to be sure. All right. So I have a lotus flower here, and I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna dip it right into the dye and water mixture. Kind of spin it around a little bit. Let the water and paint drip off of it. Then you're gonna wanna fluff out your petals. So now that the flower's wet, the um, wood petals are super pliable and easy to move around. And so I just pull them all out to make a really beautiful flower. All right, so you wanna shake off the excess and then just set it out to dry. Same thing with this one. You can also do this if you um, have a misshapen flower or one that's been sitting at the bottom of all your solo wood flowers since you first got it. You can just get them wet just with a little bit of water, a little bit of warm water helps and then you can just pull the petals apart, fluff them out a little bit until it's back to having the good shape. Okay, just the last one. Fluff out my petals. Okay, I'll hold this up so you can kind of see. This is our lotus flower using our Merlot dye. We have over 50 color options that you can choose from on our website. You can check it out at www.solowoodflowers.com.